Hey Fruity Cuties, LJ Jackfruit here. So I wanted to do a little video about what I'm doing for a living right now because I think it's pretty unique and I really love it. I'm a professional house sitter and pet sitter, which is the best part. I go into people's homes. I make sure that everything's always great at the home and I look after the animals. I'm doing this right now and I'm gonna show you around. This is Susie Q. She's my number one responsibility. Susie, say hi. Good girl. She's 10 months old. And this is Tico. Tico is just such a lovely cat. The way he plays with the puppy is just so gentle and loving. These are the parrots. I hate to show them to you in the cages. I just have to because I'm not very good at handling them yet. I'm getting to know how to handle Maggie. This is Maggie the cockatoo, and she talks as well. She says, are you a pretty girl? I'm a pretty girl, and, and other things too. So I take her out a little bit every day. At first she bit me a bit, and it really hurt. Look at that beak. But she's getting to know me and trust me more. I don't take Bubba out at all. Apparently African greys are like one person kind of birds and I just don't know enough about birds to handle him yet. Yeah, they're talking a little bit right now. <laughs> that was Bubba at the top. He just laughed like, like Norman, <laughs> like Norbert the dad. He just said his own name. <laughs> they're amazing. They really are. I'm really inspired by these parrots actually. They're so intelligent. I can't wait to go to the parent sanctuary in Coombs on Vancouver Island. There's so many birds there. This is a commitment for life. They live the same amount of time, if not longer, than people. So, you know, it's just cool. There's like all these people dropping in. Um, it's a, <laughs> he just imitated me to see the animals and, you know, it lets you do a lot of things you might otherwise not have time for. Like, I'm reading these books right now. I've got The China Study and this book called Awakening to Your Life's Purpose by Eckhart Tolle. I don't know if I'm saying his, his name right, but it's amazing. It talks a lot about the ego and how to be aware of your own ego and to, you know, to bring yourself back down to earth sometimes because it's easy to get carried away with the ego and the I word. Um, but you know, it's not all about us. There's this amazing world out there that needs help if we can offer it. And that's what I try to do by spreading the world word with the foodie lifestyle and by advocating for animals because I'm also an animal rights activist and I'm gonna be bringing that into my videos. I have this amazing kitchen to do my thing in. Everything that you could desire. Like, it's really cool. And like, check out this room. I spend all my time in this room. I'm here for two weeks. And then I go directly to another job in North Vancouver. And at that job, I have my own Jeep. They're leaving me their Jeep. And I have two big dogs. I get to run and exercise every day on the trails. So this is a really cool lifestyle if you can find a way to make a living off of it. I'm still kind of new. I've been doing it off and on since 2011, but never steadily. And I have been lately steadily. So I'm starting to get a bit of income from it. I don't charge a lot because it really deters people from hiring you and you can't pay your own rent or your own mortgage while you're doing this job unless you really find really rich people who are going to pay you a lot of money. So what I do is I sublet my apartment and somebody else pays all of my expenses while I do this. And that way, the money I make from this job, from pet sitting, is my income. And I don't have any expenses like heat, hydro, internet, none of that. I get all that paid for by somebody else who's at my apartment. 
and then the money I make doing this is all mine. You know, I still have to buy my own food. I'm trying to spend more money on quality fruit. It's hard because quality fruit is really expensive and I don't make a lot of money. So I'm getting to learn that, you know, money really isn't everything. It's your lifestyle and your quality of life and your health. So I'm starting to spend more money on fruit and really I want to be where the quality fruit is. And that's why I'm actually going to Thailand probably for a couple months this summer. I just want to show you also these dates. I love these dates. They come in different names on the box, but basically they're BAM dates. And they're amazing. Like man-made manufactured food can never taste like nature's food. This is nature's candy. Every single time I eat one, it tastes different than the last. These days taste better than chocolate ever could. Honestly, people. These have these flavors I can't even describe. Every single date in the world tastes differently. It's like a snowflake. And and it's... They're, they're, so amazing. You know, the layers of flavor. Sometimes I think it tastes like chocolate. Sometimes I think it tastes like, you know, liqueur. Obviously, I don't drink anymore. But, you know, and then it, it just tastes like its own thing. It's, they're, they're so good. I'm just going to open one of these so you can see the, the, the softness. Look at this. And how fresh these are. You know, these are right from Iran. And I think they're called BAM dates because that's the region where they're grown. Mm. They are absolutely amazing. So that's it, Fruity Cuties. That's my life right now. He's a pretty girl. Yeah. Good girl, Maggie.